<laughs> Hi. Okay. Time for our saxophone players. We're going to play through a couple of things together. I'm cold down here, so I had to get a hat. Um, I'm doing a couple uploads today, so so far. Um, I just wanted to uh, say thank you for coming to lessons and for making it so much fun to teach you. Uh, I love hearing what you've been practicing, and I love your positive energy. So it really helps to have so many enthusiastic students. So, yeah, keep it going. Uh, we won't have lessons in person because of the early dismissal schedule, so I wanted to keep you going on what we've been doing in class. So most of you were very comfortable with the whole notes and the half notes. So I'm going to start this one in the red book. Make sure you have your red book, a pencil, make a mistake, kind of write something in in case you make a mistake. Uh, this is a book that was used by a prior previous student. Um, and you can see that it's very common to just try to make notes in your music sometimes, um, circling rests if you have to. Um, sometimes writing in the counts, ones, twos, threes, and fours, um, and whatnot. So pencils always help if you have it available. You have pencils, I know you do. <laughs> I think my most favorite thing about doing uploads for you uh, in video is that I get to talk to you without a mask on, and maybe you can hear me a little bit better. I know it's hard to hear me in school, and I'm still snuffly because I have not cleared out my sinus infection, so I'm sorry. It's a little bit hard for me to speak louder than this. So anyway, we're going to start with um, hot cross buns. You're all pretty familiar with that. That's number 16. So we're on page 8, and you're going to hear the accompaniment start. Um, let's do let's, hot cross buns is number 16. I'm sorry. I said that already. Let's Number listen. 16. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. Let's listen One, the first time, two. okay? Ready. It's a little fast. Play. Think of your notes. A, G, rest, rest. G, 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 G. A, 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 A. B, A, G. All right, so you can think of a note name and you can play it with your fingers. Now try playing along. Two, ready, play. Notice I'm not puffing my cheeks out. If you allow your cheeks to puff out, you're going to get a really loud sound, which we're trying to avoid, not just in school, but at home for our parents and for our general control. Part of the challenge of playing saxophone is not being loud. It's a very naturally loud instrument. Yeah, that's called honking. When we honk, it's not that pleasant on the ears. Sorry, I didn't give you a heads up. I was going to do that. Um, welcome to my life. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to 17. 17 is easy to play by yourself, but when you hear the accompany, it will be quite fast. So first, I would try 17 alone. Now, I did that all in one breath, but if you want to breathe, <laughs> you can put a breath mark in your music, which is an apostrophe, after every measure or after every two measures. So, for instance, you can breathe in this section. Just don't breathe between every note, please. We don't have to. It's just like recorder. Push the air through, ta, 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 or two, 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 two. Whatever works for you, 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 you. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Uh, I was watching too much of the um, Netflix flip of this video. We watched the music class this week. Okay, 17. It would help for me to have my glasses, but I forgot them. Number All right. 17. Here we go, 17. Twitter, de la Lune. Listen first. One, two, ready. Pretty fast. Eight. G, move your fingers along. G, 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 A, B, A, G, B, A, A, G. Sorry, I wasn't singing along with the correct notes. Playing. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> I 
just added that little thing at the end. That's called an arpeggio. Arpeggio. One, three, five, one. Getting off track, sorry. Okay, if you're comfortable with that, you're moving on to 18, 19, and 20. Um, when you get to 19, the new note is C, which is just played like an A, but you're going to pick up your first finger. So now you only have your second finger or middle finger down, and your black key is covered with your thumb. We haven't touched this octave key yet. Well, we're getting there. We're getting very close. So C is just with the middle finger, nothing in the right hand. Remember, your right hand is just hooked behind the, the hook under here. Not like this, but like this. Some of you are playing like this sometimes. This way. And your right hand is not touching anything. So here's your C. If you want to be really brave and try D, I'd be excited to hear you try it. You're going to press this octave key down, the silver guy in the back. He's going to activate something up here that moves. And then you press all the fingers down. One, two, three. One, two, three. And try that note. So now we're going up the scale. So far we've got Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. If you get to 21, you're golden. If you already know how to play a D, then I'm going to play Sawmill Creek for you on the next video. Okay, I hope that helped you. And I have to go check on a couple things, and I will come back with another upload for you soon. Please email me if you have any questions, if you have any problems with the neck strap. The mouthpiece has to be pushed in pretty far. And remember, the reed has to be straight up and down, not going over the top of the mouthpiece, just straight across. Okay? And the ligature, when you put the ligature on, uh, push it pretty far down. If the ligature is up here, it's not going to let your reed vibrate. All right, so that's all I have for you for saxophone for today. And have a wonderful evening. And don't forget to practice as much as you can. See you in school for Music Extensions. Bye.